Good mythical afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. A with another uh, video lesson for you. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to be focusing on uh, Lincoln's House Divided speech. But before we begin that, we need to look at some of the um, prior information. So, um, as we know, that Lincoln and Douglas end up debating uh, because they are both running for the Senate in Illinois. You have Stephen Douglas, known as the Little Giant, also the uh, person who creates the, who helps with the Great Compromise of 1850. Um, also, we then versus Abraham Lincoln, one of the founders of the Republican Party. So, and the focus of this debate will be upon um, the expansion of slavery in the United States. Lincoln's perspective is that the national government was there to prevent slavery, that its idea was to expand freedoms and civil rights to everyone in the Union. While Stephen Douglas do is not a proponent for slavery, he doesn't say yay slavery, he, doesn't he personally opposes slavery, but he stated that people should choose if their state has slavery through the idea of popular sovereignty, let the people vote. Sounds like a great idea, but sometimes, you know, we've got to say, is the moral, is that morally or ethically correct? So, uh, what happens is this ends up giving, uh, Lincoln ends up giving part of uh, one of his most famous speeches known as the House Divided Speech, and that makes Abraham Lincoln famous all the way across the United States and all around the world, and actually will help him win the presidency uh, for this, after James Buchanan. So, we're going to switch over real fast to the actual um, document that we're going to be looking at. So, we're actually going to be just looking at part of the House Divided speech. Uh, we can look at the whole thing, but really, we're, I'm just pulling out the most important parts. So, this was, uh, Lincoln stated this in uh, Illinois on June 16th, 16th of 1858. So, here we go. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. I do not expect the union to be dissolved. I do not expect the house to fall, but I do expect it It will cease to be divided. It will become all one thing or all the other. Either the opponents of slavery will arrest the further spread of it and place it where the public mind shall rest in the belief that it is in the course of ultimate extinct extinction, or its advocates will push it forward till it shall become alike lawful in all the states, old as well as new, north as well as south. This is the most important part of Lincoln's House Divided speech. And when we look at this, there's a lot of references to use this. So Abraham Lincoln used it, so when he states a house divided against itself cannot stand, actually comes from the Bible. Though Lincoln really didn't consider himself a hardcore uh, religious person, he does understand that if you use uh, someone's religion as a way to talk about a debate or to talk about moral or ethics, just like Harry Beecher Stowe, that you are likely to get people to help you. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I mean, if you look at it, those of you who have lived in a house when your parents are arguing or when there's fighting amongst, it doesn't work very well. And it's kind of a negative place to be. I believe that this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. It must be one or the other. That when our house is divided, when the union is divided between two major differences, the north is industrialized, full of immigrants, the south is agricultural, full of slaves. And those conflicts that occur, and with the southern dominance of Congress through the Three Fifths Compromise, we know that this is going to be an issue, that the United States has to make a decision. We have to decide if we're going to allow slavery to expand or if it's going to die. And Lincoln is saying, you know, he's got, we've got to figure that out. He personally disagrees with slavery. He thinks it's a horrible institution, not because of its racial tendencies, but because he believes that every man, woman, and child should be paid for the sweat of their brow. If you do work, you should be paid. Since slaves do work but don't get paid, that is inherently wrong. It should be their money, their wealth, their opportunities to succeed and make the decision that is best for themselves. I believe, I do not expect the union to be dissolved. I do not expect the house to fall, but I do expect it will cease to be divided. It will become all one thing or all the other. And this will push Lincoln into the presidency at a later date. So, as always, don't forget to be awesome.